yesterday election i decided to just sit back and watch and see how this one would also unfold and i was happy that some of the polling units were very peaceful and i was also very saddened by a lot of things that went down in some of the other polling units i saw one of the touts that got shot and instantly i felt sorry for his mother or father or family because i just felt like ah politics. A young guy was wasted. I heard about an elderly man also who was killed. And I saw a lot of videos about people who were beaten, who were who were slapped, who were pushed away because they decided to vote for their own choice I don't think after this election I am ever going to see some people the same again I don't think I can ever bring myself to relating with some set of people that I once called a friend I don't think anyone should be bullied I don't think anyone should be forced I am so ashamed of some people that I call my brother or my sister from the Yoruba land at the level of desperation at the level of oppression, at the level of tribalism that flows within their blood. Now I'm going to say a little story or tell a little story. When I joined the Yoruba industry, a lot of people there if you have the, if you ask the likes of Alaji Yenka Kodri, Alaji Ogogo, Onkwabe Lanre, Mukare, I mean Lassunre, a lot of them, even Funke Akindele, all my friends, if you ask them then about my Yoruba, my Yoruba was bad. It was really bad because of my upbringing and where I was coming from. And then I used to struggle. That's why you cannot really see me in all these local, traditional movies where I have to be speaking incantations and doing a lot of offer and all that because my Yoruba is not that deep. And I used to worry then. I used to say, ah, why didn't I grow up in a Yoruba setting so I could know all these things? Because I love it. When I listen to it, when I watch them do it, when I go on locations with them, how they do all these things, it fascinates me. Like, I am so in love with my culture. But today, I am so grateful to God that I was raised by my grandmother, who's not Yoruba. Because I, would, I don't know how I would see myself if I had this tribalistic mindset. I don't know how I would function right. My mother... Let me even start from my father. My father. My father's father is from Abekuta. My mom's dad is half Delta Igbo, half Igbo. I was raised by her. On my mother's side, my mom's dad is from Ijebu Ode, the Fetuga family. And my mom's mom is from Benin, Edo, Benin City. But does it make me less a Yoruba girl? If I'm to pick a state that I am from, I would definitely have to pick my father's, father's state, which is Apekuta. It doesn't make me less a Yoruba girl. 
and it doesn't make me less a Nigerian. Have I been home to my state? Yes, to act movies, but have I gone to my hometown in Abekuta? No. Does it make me not love my Yoruba people? No. But does it make me not love other tribes? No, I still love other tribes. Because I am first human and then a Nigerian. I think mothers, we have failed a lot in how we raise our children. We have failed a lot in how we raise our children. Why any... Because I see a lot of comments, people come into my space and call me a bastard, a betrayer for supporting Peter Obi. How? Is he not a Nigerian? Is he not human? Is he not African? And the ones that battle me the most are the ones that live abroad and still spill all this rubbish. You live in another man's land where you have gone there to, to, to fight tooth and nail by walking, by doing a lot of things to attain their passport or their paper. And you guys are so quick to say, oh, now I have my American passport, I have my British passport. Oh, I am British, I've left your country for you. If these people are relating the way you people were relating this period, this election period, do you think any one of you will be there having a British passport, an American passport, a Canadian passport? You go there and you call that place home. But yet, you stay there and you say, oh, the Igbos should go back to their land. Oh, they are not Yorubas. You make it seem like it's only the Igbo people that, that are under LP just because their presidential candidate is an Igbo man. How do you guys reason? But you forget. You forget that we are all Nigerians and we are all one. You all forget that. But you're quick to say, oh, I have a British passport. Oh, I have an American passport. Even the so-called people saying, oh, we are Yoruba, Ibo cannot come and da 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 The LP governor candidate, dad, is from Lagos Island. He is a Lagosian first. If you want to talk about that, before you now associate him with his mother's hometown. So because his mom is Igbo, he cannot dress like an Igbo. He cannot have an Igbo name. I have an Igbo name. I have an Edo name. I have a Yoruba name. I have a Christian name. I have an English name. But does it make me less a Yoruba lady? No, it doesn't make me less a Yoruba lady. I am highly disappointed in a lot of people that reason that way. If you are a tribalistic bigot, you have no reason complaining about racist because there is no difference between you and anyone who is a racist. There's no difference. You are all the same and you must know that. And if you come on my page, because one of the reasons why I'm doing this live video is because I see some stupid comments. Don't me, I block. I don't even have time. They accept the ones I want to respond to. You come on my page and you chat shit. I will block you. I don't have time. I'm not one of those celebrities that leaves, that leaves you on their page to be ranted. Except I don't see it. I will block you. Because you disgust me. You irritate me. I do not want to be associated with people like you. I hate people who are tribalistic. I am not. I do not see any reason why I should be. So I don't want to associate with you. Do not come on my page and write rubbish. And I see all the threats. Uh, we are going to come for you. Come for who? 
the go the, the, the Lagos State government will not do. Uh, what has the Lagos government done for me? What has the Lagos State government done for you? Except those of you they've given money to campaign for them. After the campaign, what will happen to you? Do you think they will pick your call? Do you think they will see you? Do you think they will relate with you? They only call you when they need you and they dump you immediately they enter office. They don't have your time. And that's a fact. So who will suffer more? Me? That is working and hustling on my own? I don't do, I don't do government business. I've never worked, done any government business or contract before. I do my own thing. If there's anything I have given to the government because I pay tax. Do you understand? What have you done with your life? What have you given back to your society? Government has not given me anything. When I was young and hustling with my two children, I didn't see anyone to come and tell me, the government come and tell me, oh, there's student loan somewhere. Even those general hospitals, when you go there, they treat you, the condescending level there is crazy. They treat you like you do not exist. So I have never had to use a government hospital before. Because I do not want a situation where my children will be treated like, like animals. I do not want a situation like So I have worked so hard for where I am today. My son do not live here in Nigeria. My daughter right now is in America. She can choose tomorrow to relocate to anywhere in this country, in this world, anywhere. They, my children can choose to relocate. I will get them that visa. Trust me. I have visas to all important countries i have visas to america to london to, i mean to canada if i choose to relocate today i will go but what about you because you come on my page and you chat shit what about you what do you have what is going to happen to you after the 10k the 20k that they've given you or the 100k what will happen to you next even if they give you 5 million, you will finish spending it. If they give you 10, 20 million, you cannot spend it in 4 years. What will happen to you at the end of the day? They will forget you, they will dump you, and you will suffer. I will never see anyone who has forcefully attained a crown. And I will congratulate you and see you as a king. You can never be a king. You don't force things on people. You earn it. This election was not free, nor was it fair. I am disappointed. In 2023, if we could still have all this and call it election, <laughs> then Trust me, we have a very long way to go in Nigeria. A very, very long way. And I will continue to speak my truth. And I will stand by it. Do you know why? Because I am not afraid. I am not a coward like you that cannot come out and speak your truth because of what you want to eat. Because one particular friend thinks that you have to be loyal to them. No way. I will speak my truth. I will stand by it. And I am going nowhere. Because all die and I die. We will all die. If you come, you kill me, you also will die. It's, it, you cannot take that away. Everybody's going to die. It's the time, the age, and the place, and the method of your death that is different. We are all going to die. I am not afraid of nobody. And so those of you are coming on my page, oh, you are cancelled, you better run away. Uh, the government is going to come for you. This is the nobody is coming for nobody. I am not like you where they come to threaten you to silence your voice. My voice can never be silenced. The only thing that will happen is I will never associate with some certain set of people again. Not because I hate them, but because of their mindset. Their mindset is corrupt. Their mindset is irritating. Support your party. No one is asking you not to support your party. But if you instigate violence, if you threaten people, if you support violence to win an election, I do not want to associate with such people. 
I regret associating with such people in the first place. I regret, let me say it again, associating with such people in the first place. And also, those of you who come online and bully people for their choice of party, you are, no, you are not different from them. Those of you who go on social media and you begin to bully people because they are supporting APC or they are supporting PDP or they are supporting... You are not different from them. You are part of them. The only difference is that you do yours on keyboards and they do theirs in, in physical appearance. You are all a bully. You are all a bully. And that's a fact. Mothers, we have a long way to go. We have a long way to go in raising our children. A very long way to go. You see some, I see some young, young children, they come on my page and they're insulting me, calling me all kinds of unprinted names. They do that to some other of my colleagues. And I go down their page and I look at 